to hide a lion. Helen Stevens. One hot day, a lion strolled into a market square to buy a hat. But the town people, townspeople were scared of lions, so he ran away. He ran as fast and as far as he could and hid in a house in a garden. It was a playhouse and it belonged to a small girl called Iris. You can't hide there, she said Iris who was scared of lions. That house is too small for you. They went inside so Iris could hide the lion properly. They had to be quiet as moms and dads can be funny about having a lion in the house. The lion let Iris pull the leaves out. Of, of his n n mane, and he, and she, he showed hit her his paw where he had stepped on something sharp. I'll put a plaster on that," said Iris. It wasn't easy hiding a lion. He was just too big, too fluffy and too heavy, especially when he was asleep. Lion and lion sleep a lot. But then no one was looking the lion could come out to play. They just had to be careful not to be too noisy. One evening Iris dad said they still haven't found that lion. I bet he a kind lion said Iris from behind the sofa. There's no one such thing, no such thing as a kind lion, her, said her mom. All the lions will eat you. The lion was worried, but Iris Iris comforted him. Then she re read him his favorite story. It was about a tiger who came to tea. He felt he fell asleep halfway through because lions sleep a lot and that was how everything went wrong. Iris heard her mom coming up the stairs.
but it's hard to wake a sleeping lion. However, most lions will wake up if a mom screams at them. Ah! The lion raced out of the house. And found a hiding place where he could still see Iris wherever she came into town. Nobody noticed him. Not the town people. Not even Iris. And secretly not the two burglars who broke into the town hall and stole every single one of the Lord Mayor's candle. But the lion noticed them. With a huge roar! And he leaped, leapt off his pedestal. stood on both the burglars till the police came. All the townspeople were amazed, except for Iris, who said, I told you he was a kind lion, and that surprised everyone. Now the lion was a hero. He didn't have to hide anymore. The townspeople held, up, held a special parade for him. They, the mayor said he could have anything he wanted. The lion thought for a moment. Then he asked for... A hat! Which we... Uh, he'd come to town for in the first place. It really suits you, said Iris. Oh. 